This is Christine Sweet with the Plant-Based Review, and today we are on the steps of Brooklyn Borough Hall with Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, leading us through meditation and yoga with the students from across the borough. Various school districts in Brooklyn have been implementing a Friday meditation and yoga sessions and have seen positive results. This is not just merely something that was antiquated of, of, of meditation is just something that uh, is not real. That is so incorrect. The science has shown what meditation could do and how it helps the development of your mind, your body, your soul, how it allows you to focus, how it allows you to deal with traumatic experiences. And we believe uh, what Vista Academy has done and other schools are doing as well. And we want to continue to expand this and really scale it up uh, throughout the entire city, throughout the entire state, and if not, throughout the entire country. I'm happy to be here today for yoga on the plaza. <laughs> Exciting. I, I had the opportunity to meet with uh, Borough President recently and uh, he mentioned this idea and I said, let's do it. We have a yoga teacher training program with both Brooklyn North and Brooklyn South. Uh, the leaders of that program are currently in training um, right now to be able to turn key to the teachers in our schools. School is where you meet students from the we live in New York City, so you meet students from all over the world, and you can reach all of them. Yoga helps once, like reaching to all students. <laughs> For me, it's really good because during the week, it's really um, a challenge at times with um, students and getting them where they need to be. But Friday, being able to relax and start my weekend off um, with, with a fresh mental state and um, stress-free is really nice. It's awesome. To really talk about the importance of bringing meditation to our youth, we all know that our youth are very stressed, right? We're experiencing high levels of stress in their lives, right? There's also a lot of research that shows that it helps in improving our cognitive abilities, right? Our physical health. When we're less stressed, we're able to accomplish more, right? When we're under a lot of stress, we can't see things very clearly. So the opportunity for these students to meditate every day with a technique that's been proven by research to be successful is a really great opportunity we can give to students. Obviously these challenges are not going to be solved by only one solution, but through multiple avenues. And we've had the privilege to be able to teach one million students across the United States and internationally the practice of meditation with the hope that they can help reduce stress to feel more successful and more in control of their lives. I joined yoga because of my dean, because she used to tell me it was very relaxing and calming for her, so then I started doing it and it was relaxing and calming for me, and I enjoyed it, yeah. I like it because it's like it calms me down and it's kind of fun also. At first, I thought yoga wasn't for me because I was so anxious and I thought that it wasn't going to work for me. But then, it's like, don't judge a book by its cover because once I tried it, it is so much for me. I'm not anxious anymore and it helps me with my schoolwork. And I took uh, my Regents this week and when I before I took it, I took three big deep breaths and then I got right to it and I felt so much better. So I know that I passed it. Uh, I think it's no secret, you know, I represent East New York, where I was born and raised, I represent Brownsville. Uh, these are neighborhoods that, that have undergone a lot of stress over the years, a lot of uh, lack of investments in our communities. And in the city of New York, where it gets harder and harder to find a place to, to find that peace and quiet that you need to collect your thoughts, collect your emotions, be mindful of yourself and those around you, uh, it's even harder in neighborhoods like East New York, where we're dealing with a lot of pressures. So being able to introduce a program like this into our communities, I think is is one of the most important things we can do. We spend a lot of money in figuring out how we can change uh, the school curriculum, hoping that it will increase grades. But if we're not dealing with the issues that our children are dealing with before they even get into the classroom, we cannot expect them to score A's and hundreds on the new curriculum models being brought into our classrooms. Para mí es algo sorprendente, bueno, eh, la, la persona se, se pone más confiable, más este más sereno, más, eh, para mí me gusta y quisiera que todos participaran en esto, es bueno, hay más serenidad en uno mismo, muy bueno.
I do think that it is extremely valuable because I think our, we clean our bodies and we clean what brush our teeth, but the one that runs everything, which is our mind, we don't tend to clean. And I see it as mental decluttering. It's a way to declutter the mind, our stress, our anxiety, and it really helps us just cope with life and feel more relaxed and feel calmer. So I think with time, they start seeing those benefits. The students, they seem to be smiling a lot more lately. Well, Friday after a stressful week and you're learning and dealing with different issues in the building, it's a great calm for you. It's a great um, mediation period that you can go and enjoy your weekend and start over the next week. For our kids to be able to compete and, and work hard in school. It's not as uh, when I was in school. We we're on a 24-7 cycle. And it's a lot of information and a lot of stressors. And so we want to be able to equip our children with as many tools as they can to be able to navigate themselves in this system. So I look forward to the work that we're doing, not just across Brooklyn North, but Brooklyn South as well, to create one Brooklyn in this endeavor. So thank you again. Thank you. And we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We often think of education sitting in the classroom, learning one and one equals two. But many times children into the classroom, we're asking them to multiply and divide when they feel divided. They want to say, we would like to be not only academically smart, but we want to be emotionally intelligent and emotionally stable. And that's what this is doing. The new statement of success is inner peace and meditation allows us to get that inner peace.